Hello, welcome to Frank's School. Uh, I said I could be brief. I have just a little bit more to say about my imaginary movie, Resurrection. Uh, uh, I wanted to say a little bit. This is the 22nd shot at it. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm putting them all together into one uh, uh, playlist, and I want to talk very briefly about the schedule, <laughs> my imaginary schedule. But first, backing up to what I said before, that movie that I, a sequel that I said I imagined. I think I might call it just Mon. Uh, take the out there, Mon. Uh, I don't know. Uh, brevity is a soul of wit, they say. And, but anyway, uh, I'm still based on Mammon. Uh, and uh, you know, I'd said about uh, at one. You know, a, a main drive could be to get the man, stop that guy, stop the movie, uh, stop the movie, get the old man. Well, I thought about Diderot, Dennis Diderot. Uh, he's the uh, he's the man who came up with uh, the Encyclopedia of the Trades and Industry in uh, uh, Paris, in France, somewhere around 1750. Well, he was incarcerated. He was put in prison. Now, the, the way I used to teach it <coughs> in school was to stop him from coming out with that encyclopedia. I think it was maybe more complicated than that. That was such a time of turmoil in France. But there were very powerful people that were using their influence to try to stop him for various reasons. And, uh, you know, so anyway, I was just reminded of that. A, a little mistake I made, Hephaestus or Hephaestus, He's Greek. He's the Greek god of, uh, of uh, the blacksmith, not the Roman. The Roman god would be Vulcan there, uh, which reminds me. I, well, now I'll say about that. All right, the schedule. You know, this is all imaginary. But, uh, you know, and I actually rushed into this at first, February 5th, my birthday, 70th birthday. That's when I started this of this year. Uh, and I rushed into it because I thought, ah, we need this movie now before the uh, uh, American elections. Uh, we needed it 50 years ago or 40 years ago, I said before, but, you know, I, uh, the, the, it's an imaginary movie, but, you know, you can only stretch things so much. But I think in my imaginary movie, the filming would need to begin, or would begin, ideally, by April 1st, 2017. It would have to be filmed through a year. Uh, and the seasons aren't going to change just because it's inconvenient for a, a, a filmmaker. So, you, you know, you'd need to get footage from, from April, and it would have to go through probably through uh, November, maybe, or, yeah, maybe, or, or September anyway. And, and that, I think, is possible. I don't, you know, I don't know really anything about making movies. I said that before, and, and it, maybe I've made it very clear. Uh, I will contact people. I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm prepared, I say, to be shameless. What, what's to be lost? Uh, you know, they just ignore my emails or whatever, or say, or have a good laugh. And, but I'm going to actually, I had said that I'm, I'm doing this out of shame, in a way, because I, <laughs> I said I'd be shameless. Uh, well, that, that I was waiting for somebody else to come up with this, you know, and, and, uh, and, and so I could say after, at the conclusion, it's, okay, well, I've done it. I've, I've laid it out. Here's a movie. And then I could say, okay, my shame's gone. Uh, I, I gave it my shot. But I still think that would be a cop-out. I, I need to do the further, less appealing work of actually, oh, I hate to use the word promote because I'm the worst promoter in the world, but to, to at least let people know that, that this is here. That's a huge challenge, especially for me. Uh, the aldea need, would need to be picked. I, I've In my mind, I've used a chiquero or chiquera. I'm not sure. Chiquero. Um, and and uh, we only saw two and then a little bit of a third one in our trip. But that's what I've been used. But there's 20 or 30 or maybe way more aldeas that are available in Portugal. The casting. Well, the casting would need to be done, uh, you know, starting way early. And, uh, you know, of course, some, someone has to take charge of all this. You have to find somebody with money. Wolf uh, would have to be contacted. Uh, and, and I actually believe that, that volunteers would be forthcoming to help to do this. Permaculture. 
uh, they would need to be contacted too to see if they could uh, get their people worldwide aware of the effort. A storyboard. There, there's a man that actually suggested that he might be willing to do a storyboard for me. I don't know about that, but at least uh, you know some some experimental uh, drawings, perhaps maybe. And then finally, my trip. Since I retired, every year I've gone to uh, uh, Europe. And uh, this year, no, 2016, I I'm not going to be able to. And I don't go for relaxation. <laughs> they all, these trips almost kill me. Uh, but uh, I go to learn. Uh, but I, I am thinking uh, I will go again in early 2017. And that trip I would do to learn other things aside from this movie. But that trip would start in Bavaria <clears throat> on land. I would then travel all the way across northern Spain, possibly into Portugal. And at that time, uh, I mean, ideally, I would contact some people. I would actually see them personally in, in uh, Galicia and, and Portugal to talk about this uh, movie, if it really looked like there was any chance they could be done. All right, the, the, the one other thing I was going to say is I'm going to uh, go one more time about this movie uh, now, I think. I'm going to tell you some secrets. <laughs> For anybody who's followed the playlist this far, well, you deserve to know. I, I'm going to tell you some secrets that I have not uh, told yet, and that, that can be brief. So, bye for now.